What it is, what's saying, boys? This is your boy CJ back with another breakdown video. I'm not gonna do too much time talking, boys. Y'all boys saw the title, y'all boys saw the thumbnail. Shoot, y'all boys see the screen. Um, trips tied in out of the Bills playbook. This is the playbook that Kobo used to win MCS a few days ago. So, boom, we're gonna go ahead and just go over this trips tied in today, and that'll be it. So, it's not gonna be too, too long, but this is really good formation. There's a lot of route combos out of here. So, hey, boys, without further ado, Bills Y post. Very first play we're gonna get into. Um, this is actually really, really good against man. So, I'm just gonna go to, I wanna call like a random why don't they have like cover two and cover one in one thing so you can just call okay we're gonna run it a few times against cover a random cover one and a few times against random cover you see what i'm saying so boom um bills wide post um this is really a really good man beater the way that a few ways you can set it up um very very first keep the tight end on the post obviously that's gonna be your main route but some things that you can freestyle around it um slants are supposed to be working again um as y'all have seen if you've been playing a lot that's on and off so, um, first, we're just going to go ahead and give you a send four combo. So, I would do something like this. So, remember, it's man coverage. So, come back, slant, post, zig. You see what I'm saying? Um, so, boom. I'm going to run this a few times just to show you what it looks like. First, you have the zig. Boom. I'm going to try to get every route. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm doing random cover one. So, I'm just going to show you that um, most of all of these will get open on this play. Um, you probably want to wide hash it because that will help with the comeback. Let's do something like this. Um, and then also it gives your zig more space to hit the sideline and cut up the field as well. So we can do something like this. Same thing. I'm going to try to hit a different route though. Boom. Slant. Easy. Pick up the yards. You see what I'm saying? It's it's a really simple setup. Um, I'm going to show you more, but I just want to show you that all of these get open. So boom. So far, we hit the slant. We hit the zig. So we're going to try and either hit the comeback or the tight end post. Boom. As you see, Kelsey just fries his man. I'm actually going to instant replay that because I want y'all to see where the break is at. So, um, to be honest, if your tight end is slower than who's guarding him, you're going to want to throw it on this break because they're going to get separation on this. Like, you see how sharp that is? You're going to get separation on that no matter what. So, if your tight end is slower than the DB who's guarding him, I'd probably throw it right here. But, like, if you're a mutt um, and tight end has some speed, you're going to be able to take this, um, leave it, hold the ball, and then he'll get across, and then he'll be wide open for a one-play touchdown. So, um, that's why I really like that play. I'll go ahead and show y'all um, something else that you can do. Oh, actually, I haven't hit the comeback yet. My bad. I'm going to show you that really quick just to show you that it's going to cook. You just got to um, – you just need more time with it. Um, I'm not going to throw it again because Vita Vea is going to piss me off. But I'm just going to show you the separation and then how to throw it just to show you how that gets open. Because I, I don't want it, this to take too long for y'all boys. So, boom. As you see Scantling on the comeback, as he breaks, I mean, this is the ball right here. You see how much space he has. This is a pass lead down. As you see, we threw it, but we just got smacked. So, literally, we just went uh, four for four on the first man beating combo. So, I mean, something else that you can do, um, like I've been saying in my past breakdown videos, it's about freestyling, boys. So, I mean, if you're playing man, you need to beat man. I mean, something else you can do, you can do post corner so you have two routes going that way texas zig and then just streak like this beats man too like you see boom snap it tight end corner okay i you guys know how this game is i'm gonna go ahead and run it again for y'all but um that should have been a completion i'm just gonna post post drag streak something like this boom hopefully kelsey actually breaks there it is pass lead outside perfect just like that just like that Boom. Um, I'll go ahead and hit another route on this, and then I'll give y'all. Hold on. Let's do this. Up, up, like that. Boom. Um, obviously the user's sitting right there, but you would have had RB if he wasn't in the way. So boom. Um, that's another man beater combo. Um, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as it is, cause Bill's wide post is basically just for man. So I gave y'all two different setups. You can make infinite out of them. To be completely honest, like I said, it just really depends on um what y'all are going for with your offense. Boom, boys. So the next play we have here is verticals. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. We're just gonna go ahead and do random play. But um, basically, you guys know verticals. Um, this is gonna be um a, a good quick snap. But some other adjustments I would recommend. Um, I would either put you can block your running back one. You can put them on a Texas to in, I mean, out. You can wheel them sometimes. Like, basically, the point of this play is to just confuse your opponent with where the quick throw is going. You see what I'm saying? So, first play, boom. You snap the ball. You're right here at B. Boom. Obviously, if there's if there was a user on Devin White, I wouldn't throw that. But I know that the computer won't react to that ball. That's why I threw it like that. So, boom. Um, What did we do wheel last time? Okay, we can Texas this time. Boom. They're sending a the linebacker blitz throw right there. Five yards. Um, I'm going to throw it a few more times just to show y'all that this is, I mean, it's vertical. So you, you see what I'm saying? That's why I'm not going to spend too, too much time on it. But, boom, this looks like a man coverage. So, what I would do is if they end up switching to man, I'll probably zig and come back backside or something like that. So, then we have 
Boom. Boom. And I'm gonna actually show you that replay. And I'm not gonna lie, that'll be it for verticals, boys. You guys get the point. You guys know how to run verticals. But basically, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. Um, this was man. So verticals, as you see, the tight end corner is gonna cook. Pass lead outside. This is who we threw it to. So obviously he cooks. Um, obviously, zig, cook, and then come back, cook. You see what I'm saying? So literally every receiver on this play got open. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's check Let's check uh, our running back. Where he at? Where he at? I mean, yeah. The, I guess it's open. You're just not going to get any yards. So um, as y'all boys see, pretty, pretty good play. I'm not going to, like I said, not too much time on verticals. It's verticals. So after that, well, let's go ahead and do, um, I'm going to give y'all curl flat wide receiver short post. And to be honest, that's probably it. So, boom, let's go ahead and do curl flat first. Um, we'll just go ahead and do it against a uh, random play again. Because, to be honest, curl flat is another good quick snap play. Um, some things you can do, really, just snap the ball. One, boom, just make the read. Um, I like this little, it's not really a triangle, but I just call it a triangle um, on the right side. So, basically, you have corner, post, Texas. So, the Texas and the post are kind of like meshes in a way. You see what I'm saying? Like, they just take away the middle of the field. But then also, I would read post probably to corner, then back to the um, Texas, unless I read Texas first. You see what I'm saying? Because, boom, then your eyes are just actually moving right with B. You have Tra Travis right there. Sorry, I almost called that nigga Travis. Boom. Easy, 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 easy. I'll run this a few more times, and then I'll show you all some different adjustments. But, boom, another thing that's really underrated about this is against man coverage, if you throw that curl route um, and pass it correctly on the break, He's going to catch it 99% of the time. Just make sure you don't wait too long. But as you see, okay, we're going to get hollered at. That That's cool too. But boom, as you see, um, like I said, if you snap this ball, give it a little time. He's going to sit in that pocket. You just pass lead it down. He's going to body up, make the catch. So boom, I'm not going to spend too, too much time on that. I will give you all some bonus setups because I know the only thing that I don't like about this trips compared to, uh, say, for instance, like... Steelers or Patriots is they don't have slot corner and what's good about slot corner is that corner is actually better than the Bills wide post corner that we have in here but um so what I would do is if y'all want a corner out on the field I would probably I mean you can okay look I'm gonna show you guys actually what I'm talking about so you can see it so boom if you guys need a um corner out you can use Bills wide post corner but like I said it runs kind of weird for me so what I would do is I mean you can still come out in the play but if I would want a corner route, like, let's just let's just come out in Bill's wide post. Just show you what I'm talking about. But if you guys want a corner route, to be honest, a few ways that I would throw it is, one, obviously, you can go Y like this. Hold on. Something like this. Boom. Um, I'll tell you the adjustments in a second. They're in man, though. So, obviously, obviously right as I want to show you all zone beater, they come out in a man coverage. Um, but, boom, basically, the adjustments I did was drag B. Drag A, um, corner route Y, and then streak X. Basically, A is going to act as the flat, but he's just coming from the drag. And really, you, you probably want to be near hash. You don't have to be, but um, probably work better. So, boom, set it up. This looks like it's going to be another man zero, and it's going to really piss me off. Yep, of course it is. That's why I threw a fucking... Bro, this is going to... No, okay, hold on. Um, let me just let me just go ahead and audible into the zone. Because I don't know what it is. Let me know if y'all lab against random play sometimes. But for some reason, um, it's not a random play. They just pick a random man coverage like 99% of the time. Like they the computer rarely picks a random zone for some reason. And it pisses me off. Okay, boom. So like I said, drag, drag, streak, um, corner. Like this. It's not the ball. And as you see, I mean, he's just wide open. He's just wide open. So, boom, I'm not going to spend too much time on that, only because um, that's the most popular route combo in this game. So, if you don't know street corner by now, um, you got bigger problems, gang. I'm not even going to lie. So, here, um, I'll show you some other ways you can throw corners, because I know that you guys like attacking the sideline. Another combo I like to do is if you want to, like, drag. Now, I will probably drive it like this. Motion scantling over. So, boom. The combo that I have is I put um, Kelsey on a corner. We're motioning scaling over on a streak because now, see, look, since he's wide side, he's going to clear out for that corner route. And then we have a backside drive concept, which is basically um, a post that comes before the drag. You see what I'm saying? So, boom, snap the ball. As you see, Scanlon's going to clear out that zone. You have the corner out far side. You see what I'm saying? Boom. Um, another way you can throw a corner out is move to the move to the hash that the tight end is on. Once you're at the hash the tight end is on, literally, um... Let me put them in zone again so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Let's just go to like a cover three, I guess cover three lock. Hopefully the lock is on the left side. But boom, 
So we put Kelsey on the corner like this. We put McKinnon on a streak. Um, You guys know what the wheels do for corner routes, so boom. I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm just going to show y'all. As you see, for some reason, it just, I'm going to show you the replay. I don't. I really don't know how to explain it, but it just, it makes the zones play dumb. You see what I'm saying? So boom, watch. As you see, there's about, what, two to three people over here, and then they, they all just sit. Like, because, you want to know why? Because of this wheel. It's a, it's a glitch. I don't know why it does it like that. But it basically just keeps your zones from going to the sideline, I, I guess. But, boom. So, if you want to throw a wheel to your tight end, that's another way to do it. Um, not a wheel. Sorry. Um, a corner. So, um, to be honest, that's how I throw my corners. You can, um, I mean, like I said, just learn the freestyle, boys. Learn the freestyle. Learn the freestyle. And this will make it a lot easier. I'm going to leave y'all boys off on short posts. Like I said, um, like I said in my last breakdown video, if y'all guys want an actual seminar, like if you guys struggle freestyling and you guys need help um, making route combos or knowing what beats what, just let me know, and um, I would be more than glad to do that But for y'all boys. It would just be a longer video. That's why I don't do it in these, because I just want to show y'all the main concepts, and then y'all can just build on it from there. But if you need help building on it, just let me know. You see what I'm saying? So, boom, our receiver post probably the last play we go over. Um, to be honest, let's see. Play our um, one combo that I like to do out of it is something simple like this. Boom, a streak to clear out for the short post, and then we have drag, drag. And then as you see this post... In zone, well, in man it cooks. Well, I, okay, that was a match. It looked like I thought it was a um, man because they're running together, but look, but it turned out to be match. So boom, um, I'm just gonna run this setup a few times. Actually, I'm gonna run a few different setups and just show you the play art. Um, another thing you can do is something like this. You see what I'm saying? Um, just changing your just changing your checkdowns. Basically, what I mean by freestyling is you find the route that's the best on the play. So like for instance, Bills Y post. What were we freestyling around? Kelsey. So this play, we're freestyling around Scantling. So boom, something like this. Snap the ball. Obviously, the zig is open. I'm going to hold it for the post. And okay, Levante David is the best. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to show you the replay, though, just to see that obviously that's not going to happen all the time. But boom, we snap the ball. First thing, like I said, body up. This is a throw. This is a thousand, a million percent a throw. First down. Boom. Come over here to the zig. They don't have a flat. So boom, um, in a game. In a game, I reload a high, so I would have already thrown the zig, and we would have had this sideline. You see what I'm saying? But as you see, I mean, he's open, but, I mean, we just get, I don't know. You guys see what I mean. You guys see what I mean. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. I'm just going to run it a few more times, and then, to be honest, I'll really be it. I'll give you all a few different combos out of it, though. So, boom, this is another one. Zig is still open. Zig is still open. As y'all see, I'm just holding the ball for y'all boys now. Another thing I like to do is, boom, um, what is this, man zero? So man zero, we can go corner. We're going to keep the short post because it beats man. Boom, we can do something like this. Or even if slants start like working all the time, I would do something like this maybe. But for this play, we'll just drag it, boom, stop the ball, wait for him to cut. And then as you see on the short post, he's going to just fry his man and then get out. So this play is actually really, really good um, against man and zone. zone. I would probably just streak either Y or B every time just to clear out. But um, man, as you see... You don't really need to clear out. He's going to go ahead and get open himself. Um, another combo you can do is, to be honest, double post. Um, this is something that I like to run a little bit as I've been experimenting with it. As you see, um, Hardman is going to break way before Scantling does. So, boom, you snap this ball. Look at look at the separation. You see what I'm saying? I didn't throw the ball on purpose because I want to explain this. I want to explain this, and then I'll throw it for y'all and complete it. So, boom, let's go to instant replay. So, obviously, the user is going to be accompanying the middle of the field, right? Tell me what user in Madden, like, please help tell me who will be able to use this post all the way to the sideline. You see what I'm saying? And, like, look at how much separation there is. There's, like, about 15 yards horizontal, maybe even. Yeah, there's about 15 yards of horizontal separation. You see what I'm saying? He's not guarding both of these. So, boom, as you saw, um, the user's going to be one of these. So, obviously, either he's going to be open or he's going to be open. And then, I mean, if you want to get even more technical, shit. I mean, who's guarding him? You see what I'm saying? Like, it's a middle flood. And the reason I love this middle flood is because you have a good depth um, separation between these two, the drag and the post. But then you have great spacing between both posts. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and run that like one or two times. Um, This is man, though. So just disregard for now. So go. Oh, no. It turned out to be a. Okay. Boom. So we get that. Can you fall, please? But like I said, I'm going to run that like two or three times. And that's going to be it for the video. Um, like I said, more in, if you want more in-depth, just go ahead and leave a like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll really leave it for y'all, boys. So boom here. As you see, man coverage again. Post is going to get open. Catch the ball. Oh, um, the post got open, then we caught the ball. Um, It's just because they keep coming out random, man. So like I said, I'm going to do zone. I'm just going to run it like two more times. 
and then that'll be it for this video um hope y'all boys enjoyed but let's just do like a cover two let's just do like no not cover two yeah let's do like cover two I'll do a cover two and a cover three and a cover four and then I'll leave it. So boom, like I said, double post like this, something like that. I will probably do a streak on the other side. So boom, as you see, just wait, you got B, boom. And then obviously, like I said, when the user is controlling it instead of the computer, they're not going to be zone dropping. He's going to be running somewhere, which means someone's going to get open. So boom, that was cover three. Um, I'm just going to do cover two one time. Drag, block, streak, boom. Boom. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, boys. Appreciate y'all boys for pulling up as always. That was the trips tied in. Like I said, um, for the last time, my bad. If y'all want a more in-depth breakdown, if y'all struggle with freestyling, if y'all want a freestyle of this offense, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all boys let me know. But um, I'll see y'all boys tomorrow. Appreciate y'all boys for pulling up.